Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know it's early, but we came to give God praise this morning. Is that all right? Will you do me a favor? Will you stand all over the building? And just real quick, we're going to declare how great the Lord is. Is that all right? Is our God sing with me? How great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Said how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God, and oh, see how great, how great is our God. Said you're the name above all names, Lord, you're worthy of of our praise and my heart will sing how great is our God said you're the name above all said you were the yes you were name oh God God we bless you in this place this morning for you are great God God and you're worthy of our praise this morning Father God how great is our God today God we just honor your name oh God we praise and glorify you Father God because you are a great God you are a great God and besides you there is none other oh God so God we just thank you this morning oh God we praise you this morning, oh God. We lift your name on high this morning, oh God, for you are great and greatly to be praised, Father God. God, we just say thank you, oh God. Thank you for another opportunity to come before your presence, oh God. Thank you, God, for another opportunity, oh God, to come, oh God, and worship your name, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for another opportunity, oh God, to stand here with your people, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for another opportunity, oh God. God, another day, oh God, another year, oh God, another month, oh God, another Sunday, oh God. God, we just say thank you today, oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the reset retreat, oh God, on this past weekend, oh God. Thank you, oh God, God, for another chance to be in your presence. Thank you, oh God, for another opportunity to be with your people. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, God, how you kept us all throughout the night, oh God. You didn't leave us, oh God. God, you didn't forsake us, oh God. God, we're here, oh God. Some of us are weak, oh God, in our bodies. God, but we just give you thanks. God, we just give you praise, oh God. God, we just give you the honor. God, we give you the glory on today because you're a great God. You are a great God, and beside you, there is none other. God, we just say thank you, God. As we go, oh God, as we come, oh God, God, before your throne, oh God, as we come, oh God, to worship and praise your name, oh God. God, we pray, oh God, that your glory would fill this place, oh God. God, that your glory would fill this place, oh God. God, that you have thine own way, oh God, in this place like never before, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, that you send, oh God, whoever's supposed to be here, oh God. God, that they would come, oh God, that they would 
be here, oh God. Send them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you for a mighty move in your spirit, oh God. We thank you today, oh God. God, and we pray that you have your way. Have your way in us and through us, oh God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, God. and worshiping God. Come on, will not you put your hands together and give God some praise. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, it is so good to see you early this Lord's Day morning. Um, let me encourage you, my brothers and sisters, let me begin uh, by thanking Rev. Maria and the team and all of the sisters who um, shared in the Reset Retreat this weekend. If you were blessed, come on, will not you put your hands together and give God some praise. And then, um, don't forget about all the other announcements. Uh, again, uh, this Thursday is our trunk or treat. Um, please encourage and someone to come and bring uh, young people uh, to come and to share uh, this Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, my brothers and sisters. And if you are interested in donating a Thanksgiving basket to bless a family in need, please see uh, Sister Tar Brown, Sister uh, Deshawn Roker, uh, and uh, my brothers and my sisters. Don't forget uh, our Bible study this Tuesday uh, as we complete uh, the Sisters Takeover uh, for this month. If you've been blessed um, by the Sisters Takeover Bible Studies, come on, won't you put your hands together and praise God. Uh, and don't forget my brothers and sisters uh, their sisters are going to see this Friday uh, the uh, movie Harriet uh, and so um, I would encourage everyone uh, to please my brothers and sisters uh, uh, let us know if you're interested so we'll know where to go uh, also my brothers and sisters if you have not um, picked up, uh, if you have not signed up for those who are worshiping virtually, our daily devotions every day, they get emailed out at 5.30. I certainly praise and thank God uh, for uh, Sister Keisha uh, making sure that happens every uh, day. Uh, my brothers and sisters, let me ask everybody to stand on your feet. Everybody stand on your feet. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Go all around the church. Hug somebody. Tell them it's good to see you this morning. God loves you. And so do I. Come on, everybody, go hug somebody uh, all over the church. Tell them God loves you, and so do I.
brothers and my sisters. Uh, it's offering time. Come on, won't you put your hands together and give God some praise? Oh, let me say that one more time. Maybe it's not pay week for somebody. It's offering time. Come on, put your hands together. Give God some praise. Uh, my brothers and sisters, let me uh, ask if you uh, need an offering envelope, please raise your hand. I want to encourage those who are worshiping virtually uh, because several members say that they are worshiping virtually. Um, but I want you to uh, know that uh, here is another uh, way you can worship virtually. So, Keisha, we'll put the um, giving uh, apparatuses uh, that are available, uh, whether it's Cash App, Dollar Sign, The Emmanuel Temple, our church app, The Emmanuel Temple, or our website, theit.org. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I don't know about you, um, but the Lord has been good to me. I, I can't speak for you if that's not your testimony. As the old folks would say, keep on living. Um, but I can testify that the Lord has been good to me. And a proper response to God's goodness is to give back to a God who has given so much to me. So I want to challenge everyone today, if you're not a tither, to begin tithing today, 10% of the last check you received. Uh, I want to challenge uh, those who are worshiping virtually uh, to tithe uh, faithfully so into this church. This is fertile soil. I want to challenge uh, those who are already tithers to become recurring givers. What does that mean? You set it and forget it. Uh, you automatically set it uh, and uh, just forget it. And so whatever you're going to give today, come on, let's put it in our right hand. Let's lift it up to the Lord. You know what I'm going to say if today is not your day. Praise God that Friday is coming. Let's pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for being so good to us. We thank you for being so kind and so merciful and so gracious. And our God, accept these are gifts of tithes and offerings, God. Press them down, shake them together, and run them over. God, speak to someone right now, God, uh, who is struggling uh, to trust you. Uh, with the time, with 10% of the last check they receive. God, whisper in their ear right now, God, that you can be trusted, God. Uh, whisper in their ear right now, God, and remind them, God, that you have supplied not just some, but you supplied all of their needs uh, according to your riches in glory. Speak to them right now, God, in a still, small voice to remind them, God, uh, that the cattle on a thousand hills belong to you, that the earth is yours and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. We thank you and we praise you and we glorify you, God, for the wonderful privilege to be called your children, God, because it reminds us that it does not yet appear what we shall be. So, God, take these our gifts of tithes and offerings, God, press them down, shake them together so that your kingdom may come here on earth as it is in heaven, God, so more lives may be touched, more needs may be met, more people may hear about the gospel, God, uh, more lives may be touched, and more needs may be met, and more people may be blessed, God, that we'll never ever meet and ever come in contact with, God, and more lives may be touched, and more needs may be met, God, that some young person, God, who doesn't think that anyone cares about them will know, God, that not only do you love them, but you care, and we thank you and we praise you. And we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. And all those who love the Lord said amen. And we know that God loves a eh? God loves a eh? we're going to say it like we really mean it. God loves a eh? Y'all act like it was homecoming yesterday. Come on, let's say it like we really mean it. God loves a. Eh? Oh, I got it. Thank y'all so much. Uh, those who have not given, I want to thank and praise God for the persons who've already given. Those who haven't, won't you stand, face the outside walls. Won't you come down and place your gifts of tithes and offerings in these offering baskets. Tragedies are commonplace 
face all kinds of diseases people are slipping away the economy is down people don't get enough pay but as for me all i can say is thank you lord for all you've done for me yeah, yeah. oh said folks without homes are in the street and the drug habit some say they just can't be mothers and robbers no place seems to be safe but you've been my protection every step of the way i wanna say and my sisters uh, several persons I want you to keep lifted in prayer uh, we have several members who are fighting sick of cell um, so I want you to keep them lifted in prayer sister Karen our sender sister, and her son uh, sister Jennifer Williams I want you to keep them uh, sister Linda from uh, Canada asking that you continue to keep her lifted in prayer we've got several members who are uh, battling breast cancer right now and they need our prayers uh, sister Garvin was in a car accident so she's asking the church to remember her in prayer brother Moore uh, as a sick brother and a sick niece uh, he's asking the church to remember them in prayer uh, also my brothers and sisters we have members who are traveling uh, sister uh, Susie Austin and sister Marshonda lost a family member uh, last week asked that to keep them lifted in prayer sister Yvonne Thompson uh, she and her mother were faithful uh, attendees of this service sister uh, mother died, Sister Vaughn's mother died. That funeral is going to be Saturday uh, at 11 a.m. here at the church. So we're asking all those who can and will uh, join uh, Sister Yvonne and her family after her mother's extended illness with dementia. Uh, she's been now transferred from labor to reward. But I want you to keep uh, the grandchildren lifted in prayer. They are struggling because the granddaughter uh, had to see her get into an ambulance and uh, never to return home. So I want you to keep that family lifted in prayer. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, right where you are, won't you whisper a word of prayer. Pray for those to the left and to the right of you. Pray for those who are worshiping virtually. Pray for those who are in the front and in the back of you. Pray for those who you don't see around today um, that um, God is moving in their life, that God is covering them, that they'll know that God uh, has God's hands on them. So right where you are, won't you whisper a word of prayer?
here to declare to you my past is over in you all things are made new surrender my life to Christ I'm moving moving forward yeah forward you. God, we thank you, oh God. God, that you make all things new. God, we thank you, oh God. God, how you would align the worship, oh God. God, how you would align it with your word, oh God. God, that you would have your way. God, we bless you on today, Father. We give you honor on today, oh God, for your presence. We know that you're here. God, and we say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for every, oh God, prayer, oh God, that went up, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, for how you're healing right now, God. We thank you right now, God, for how you're making a way, oh God. We thank you right now how you're bringing us out, oh God. We thank you right now, Father. God, we honor you. God, we praise you on this morning, oh God. And we pray, oh God, that you have thine own way, Father. Have your way in me and through me, God, in the name of Jesus. God, use me, oh God, as your instrument this morning, Father God. God, that I would say only what you would have me to say, Father God. God, that somebody won't leave here like they came. In Jesus' name, God, I bless you. Consecrate me now, O oh God, to your service. By the power of grace divine, Lord, let my soul look up with steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord. You are my rock. You are my redeemer. These things I ask in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just thank God. Y'all just don't know. Amen. May we all please stand for the reading of the scripture. Be taken from the, the gospel of John, the fourth chapter. The B clause. Amen. And we're just going to read verse 4 through 10 and then 28 and 29. Reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Amen. 
now he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sakar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Verse 28. Then leaving her water jar, the woman went back, to town, went back to the town and said to the people, come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. The word of God for the people of God. We all say thanks be to God. Amen. This morning, the word that God laid on my heart is an encounter with the king. Amen an encounter with the king. And so on yesterday, we had our reset, well, this past weekend, we had our reset retreat, amen. But on yesterday, Reverend Maria and I, we shared a few phone calls and text messages before the break of dawn, amen. And during one of those calls, um, she told me, she said, well, Reverend, it's raining outside, so can you get a message out to, to the sisters and let them know that we're gonna cancel our morning prayer on the beach and you know as I had gone to bed after one so I was like okay <laughs> praise the Lord we get to sleep in but then probably about seven to ten minutes later she called back and said it stopped raining so we're gonna go now we're gonna go now amen we're going out and as I made my way to the beach there were women who had gathered together some were gathered in groups and some were having their own private time of meditation and some just sat in awe of god's wondrous works especially after we had seen this rainbow that just crested over the top of the hotel and even though all of us were there each sister was there seeking her own experience her own personal encounter with the king pastor you'd be surprised there was no makeup there were no eyelashes <laughs> no high heels no handbags amen no false pretenses no hang-ups and no hold-ups every sister came expecting to experience an encounter with the king and my encounter may have made me raise my hand Amen. But another sister, her encounter may, you may have seen some tears falling from her eyes. And there was one sister who was just throwing her head back because she was just so in awe of the glory and being in the presence of God. Everyone was there. Everyone came with a spirit of expectancy. And this is where we find this sister in the text. She came to draw water at the hottest part of the day. So usually you draw water in the morning because you were using that water to cook. You're using that water in order to clean up. And so everyone came, everyone, all of the women would gather at the well early in the morning to draw water. But you know, when you've been shunned and rejected by your entire community sometimes you just don't want to be around everybody you know how we do when we think somebody else's sin is worse than ours you know we, we become keyboard gangsters and twitter thugs and so she had been divorced by five husbands and was scarcely holding on to a situation and people were talking texting tweeting and she had had enough. And you know, desperate times often calls for 
desperate measures. So at the heat of the day, she went to the place of resource in order to encounter the source. Y'all don't hear me. While you are seeking an encounter with the king, the king is rearranging his schedule. Come on here, somebody. The king is rearranging his schedule, making a detour to come and see about you. See, it's right there in the text in verse four. It says, and now he had to go through Samaria. But let me tell you why that's so important. Because see, the keepers of the law, the Pharisees, they didn't travel through Samaria. They didn't mix with those people. But yet Jesus is showing us, he's showing everyone here that an encounter with the king, he doesn't care about your pedigree. He doesn't care whether or not you have a degree. He will come and see about his people. And Jesus, he wasn't wasting any time. Immediately when he got to her, he was breaking all of the rules to get you out of bondage. Jesus wastes no time. He looks at her and he says, go get your husband. He looks beyond our class and our culture and our questionable character in order to change our lives. But you see, this sister, she has some questions. She wasn't ready to just jump at the first Jewish man that popped up in her DM. Oh, y'all don't, y'all, y'all, y'all not hearing me? She came to the well for a conversion, not a text versation. Y'all hear me? She came for a conversion. But she knew that this encounter was different. So she didn't stop talking. This, this conversation is recorded as being one of the longest conversations that Jesus had with anybody in the Gospels. With a sister. He wasn't talking to no brothers. He was talking to a sister. Amen. And so when you're desperate and in need of a divine encounter with the king, you do whatever it takes in order to get what you need. This sister had five husbands in a situation and was still dehydrated. But she didn't leave. He was telling her about her stuff. He was revealing to her all of her flaws. She had risked her reputation by going there in the middle of the day. She was risking her reputation even by standing there talking to him. But he gave her an offer she couldn't refuse. She went to the well for water, for life, and had encountered the living water. Jesus is waiting at the well to interrupt your plans. But let me ask you, are you willing to do something different? Are you willing to step out of what's, norm, what's the norm and what's comfortable for you and come to the well at high noon? Are you willing to come to the reset retreat over a weekend and spend a weekend with 40 sisters Amen. And then go out in the morning, early in the morning at seven o'clock in the morning for prayer. Are you willing to do something different? Are you willing to make a sacrifice that's beyond yourself in order to encounter the king? The forecast called for rain. And it had been raining. It rained the night before and it was raining earlier that morning. But the king will rearrange his plans in order for you to have an encounter with him. The king would rearrange his plans in order for you to have an encounter with him. Amen? He says, come to the water and stand right here by my side. Come to the water and stand by my side. The song says, and drink from this fountain. Drink from this fountain where you won't be denied. I know what you did and I know who you did it with, but none of that even matters. Come to the water 
and stand by my side and drink from this fountain where you won't be denied. I have seen every teardrop. He has seen every teardrop that falls from your eyes, that has fallen from your eyes. And, but I came to tell you today, I came with some good news for you today. That it was for your tears that he died. It was for your tears that he died. And so, yes, you've gotten yourself into some stuff and, and, and you've been through some stuff and whatever it is that you did. But as, if you're at the point where you're saying that enough is enough, when you get to that point, if you're at that point, if you are desperate and you don't care who's looking and who's not looking and who's here, or who's not here, I invite you this morning to come come to the fountain this morning come to the fountain this morning wounded but he'd make you a he'd make you a witness come to the fountain this morning parched amen dehydrated but i invite you to come and taste of this living water you've got to tell yourself saints that enough is enough You've got to tell yourself that I'm coming out of this. Today is my day and I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this situation. I'm coming out of this circumstance. Yeah, I know that I've been with five husbands and I got a situation, but I'm coming out of this. All of my hangups, all of my holdups, every sin that so easily besets me, everything that's been hindering me from running the race that God has called me to, I'm coming out of this. And as you're coming out of it, the king is already there waiting on you oh y'all don't hear me he's already waiting on you you're coming looking for the king but he's already there waiting for you hallelujah you've got to be are you ready let me ask that question are you ready to come out because some of us get we you know you, we get comfortable in our sin we get comfortable we've been beaten down but I'm here to invite you this morning. Amen. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you did it with. Amen. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. I'm inviting you this morning to come. Come to the well that won't ever run dry. Come to this fountain where you won't be denied. He has seen every teardrop that falls from your eyes. And this morning I come to tell you, it's for your sin and my sin that he's died. Amen. Amen. So this morning I invite you and those of you who are worshiping with us virtually to come to the well. Amen. Come to the well, come to the fountain that won't ever run dry. Do something different on today. Amen. Do something different on today. She went out in the heat of the day. She spoke to a Jewish man who she knew that was not customary. Amen. Maybe your coming may be that you're going to come to 730 worship service. Maybe that's what you need to come to. Amen. Maybe your coming means that you're going to get on the prayer call every morning, Monday through Friday at 6, 27 a.m. Amen. Maybe that's your coming. Maybe your coming means that you're going to get involved in one of these ministries that we have at the church so that we can draw more people here. Maybe that's what you need to come to. But whatever it is that you need to do, whatever it is that you need to do, I invite you to come to the well that won't ever run dry. Amen. God bless you. Come on, let the church say amen. As everyone stands, the preacher has made the invitation. 
the doors of the church never close and they are certainly open right now for someone who's worshiping with us virtually or someone who's in this house who has not tasted that living water now is the time to come the time to come is now and if you have joined Jesus if you've tasted the living water but you've fallen away and you don't have a, a church where you're growing a church home a kingdom movement a fellowship of believers that you are a part of won't you come right now as the musicians lead us the doors of the church are open and the opportunity to join Jesus to become a member of the church and to give God your service and to be in fellowship with other believers who have tasted and seen that God is good and that that living water is real and we want to just work with you as we bring about the kingdom of God right here on earth as it is in heaven because God is moving in this place somebody ought to say amen somebody knows that God is doing things in each and every one of us this day that's different from what God did a year ago hallelujah and that as this fellowship we are growing and changing the world around us so won't you come is there one who would come the church say amen God has spoken is there one who will come this morning let the church say let the church say amen and if you already know Jesus as your savior if you just give him praise right now as you take your seat amen my brothers and sisters thank you reverend for that word uh, come to the well and Jesus is already wherever you are ready to meet whatever need you have I can keep on preaching but now come on ushers now uh, my brothers and sisters uh, as you know this is our gift submission let me thank you uh, for continuously giving in our gift submission to help those in need I just I just want to remind you because sometimes we need to be reminded every month uh, your gift submission feed six families two of those families uh, have migrated from the Bahamas every weekend every week your give submission feed six families who would not eat if it weren't for you and so uh, you want to give pull out your phone just go ahead and give ten dollars on cash out pull out your phone go ahead and give digitally those who are worshiping virtually uh, every month your uh, give submission feed 80 plus children who are orphans in Haiti every month your give submission feed uh, every every month your give submission bless homeless kids in South Broward with a birthday card and just a gift because they know they may not get any other birthday gifts simply because you give somebody ought to put their hands together and give God some praise and so, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, as we get ready to leave, let me encourage you, uh, Sister uh, uh, Caitlin, Deshaun, Roka, won't you stand? Stay right there. Um, um, they're going to see you if they are interested in getting a Thanksgiving basket uh, to help family in need uh, at the end of next month the Monday before Thanksgiving we're gonna uh, uh, have persons uh, to come uh, and receive so if you wanna uh, if you wanna just um, uh, just give $70 on cash app you can do that that'll take care of the turkey and everything a Thanksgiving fa family would need for Thanksgiving just see Sister Caitlin Roker so we can get your name and just let us know that you're gonna give on cash app my brother's and my sister somebody else to take care of the stuff in the back brother Justin's going with brother Brown already uh, to handle that uh, so you can just go and sit on down just sit on down uh, since you're looking like um, what are you doing pastor amen uh, my brothers and sisters won't you stand can we put our hands together and praise God for the preacher what a word what a word uh, praise God for the band praise God for our psalmists our ushers our greeters praise God for those who are streaming uh, praise God for those who are uh, praise God for our power PowerPoint ministries and praise God for uh, those who are worshiping virtually. My brothers and sisters, I am excited um, because uh, at um, after the 10 a.m. service, uh, as you know, we have launched Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. Some uh, 30 plus kids in the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. Come on, won't you put your hands together and give God some praise? 
So if you have young people uh, who are not even a part of this church who you think would be blessed, they can come and be a part of our Girl Scout troop and our Boy Scout troop. They meet every fourth Sunday immediately following the 10 a.m. service. Every fourth Sunday immediately following the 10 a.m. service. All of the families um, who have to wait for their kids, we're going to start um, putting some money in the kitty so we can get some wing stop while they're doing what they're doing. Somebody ought to say amen. Uh, and so we are grateful for our group, our Boy Scout leader, uh, Brother Damal Johnson. Come on, let's praise God for him. Uh, and our Girl Scout troop leader, uh, Sister Jasmine Green. Come on, let's praise God for her. Um, so those of y'all who buy Girl Scout cookies, don't buy them from anybody else. Buy them from uh, Emmanuel's Temple's Girl Scout troop. Somebody ought to say amen. Sister Angie already been hustling for folks, strong arming people already, looking at people cross-eyed, better not buy those cookies anywhere else, just buy them from her. Uh, and so we are excited uh, about these new opportunities to be a blessing. Come on, turn to your neighbor real quick and say, neighbor, walk with God and God will walk with you. Talk to God and God will talk to you. Listen to God and God will listen to you. Point to him and say, love God because God first loved you. Why don't you put both your hands in the air and receive the benediction. My brothers and sisters, let's continue to keep several of our members lifted in prayer. We've got some members who are traveling, uh, going on uh, college tours. We want to remember Sister Angela, who's faithful to this service. Her mother is having some health challenges, so we want to keep them both, all of them, lifted in prayer. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, won't you receive the benediction now unto him who is able to present us faultless no issues no cancer no sugar no pressure no arthritis no depression no anxiety no debt present us faultless no jealousy no envy no backbiting no no hate present us faultless no obesity, no overeating, no other issues that we have. Present us faultless before his throne. With And when he does it, God, we thank you that you're going to be glad about doing it, God. Because you're going to do it with exceedingly and abundantly great joy. Because you are the only wise God. Uh, you, you are our, our savior. You are our protector. You are our provider. You are our redeemer. God, but not only you are that, but not only you're that for right now, but you're for that on tomorrow. And tomorrow's tomorrow. And tomorrow's tomorrow's tomorrow. And tomorrow's 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 tomorrow's. God, we thank you that you are that now and forevermore. Somebody ought to say amen. Have a blessed week in the Lord. Have a blessed week in the Lord. Thank you.